this is what you hear real, the mystery of Laurel and Yenny. So recently, the Laurel and Yenny sound clip that has been shared in social media has gone viral. Whether you have heard Laurel or Yenny, people on both sides of the camp are very sure of what they hear is real and are finding it very mysterious that others are not hearing what they are hearing. So why is this happening? So stay tuned to Lee Sian's speech. Lee Sian, please. <laughs> This sound clip has been dividing the English speaking world apart. Today, I want to see whether I can divide this chapter meeting. I would like everyone to listen to this sound clip carefully. Okay, please tell us out if you hear Laurel. Of a recording, the fact 
sounded audio has been overlaid by a lot of higher frequency sounds in the process, creating ambiguity. Therefore, whatever you are hearing, you are correct. After encountering some mysteries behind the Laurel and Yanin audio clip, let's listen to another sound clip. <laughs> And let's listen to another one. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. And let's listen to the previous clip again. Clearly at this time, maybe you can hear it says, in the noise clip it says, the juice of lemons makes fine punch. Really? <laughs> 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 or maybe a little bit. <laughs> why, the, why some people can hear it is because when you heard it the first time, all you can hear is just the noise. But when your brain kind of knows what to listen for, sometimes you can actually hear the words in the noise. It is amazing how your brain can actually make us hear in this case. And it is all caused by the pitch or the power of suggestion or priming as explained earlier. Therefore, is there an absolute reality? In the two audio clips as shown earlier, we can know that what's real is not necessarily absolute. To most individuals, whatever we are experiencing feels like the real deal. But even when other people feeling have undergone the same events felt differently. What we believe to be true depends on who we are, how we look at it, what we, have, what we have experienced, and so much more. When we encounter people with different ideas from us, we should not immediately argue who is right or who is wrong. Instead, we should listen carefully to their perspective to understand how and why they are thinking or having such opinions that are different from us, even on the same subject. By doing this, we will learn to become a better listener, thinker, and a leader. In conclusion, this Yanni and Laurel audio is a very good reminder to all of us that what we are hearing might be different from everyone. However, whatever you are hearing, you might be correct, just as the other people who listen or who hear differently from us. In essence, what is real to one person may not be real to another person. Therefore, I would like to challenge everyone to not dismiss anyone who hears differently from us, but to learn from each other to see why this is happening. After all, we are all unique individuals with amazing brains. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lisa, for the very interesting speech. So I'm a Yeni person. So I'm just glad that uh, I really like how you actually link it back to real life and how to the fact that we should listen to people with a different opinion from us, be open-minded. I think those are really good values that we should have in today's world. And next up, we would have Pathways Trajectory Researching and Presenting from the Innovative Planning Path.